Hi, my name is Noemi and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome in and don't forget to subscribe and join us. So in today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you my top five most complimented perfume ever by both men and women. I picked the five perfume in my collection that just get me compliments, kind of like no matter the weather, no matter the time, just the one I got compliments on the most. So let's get started. So the first perfume that gets me a lot of compliments is Dolce Gabbana L'Imperatrice so this is a watermelon, berries, peonies perfume, I believe. And basically, I get a lot of compliments on this by both men and women, especially like on sunny days. It's very, it's a very refreshing, clean perfume, but it doesn't smell cheap. It's very fruity without being juvenile. It smells fresh. There's a little bit of a lemony vibe to it, just a tiny bit. It's like sweet, but not too sweet. Every time I've sprayed that one, I've gotten compliments. One of my friends smelled it on me and was like, oh my God, I gotta get it. I have actually two friends. I ended up buying it because I was wearing it. That's how much they liked First it. First time I sampled that one, I was at the mall with my sister and one guy was literally like, you guys smell so good. What is that? And it was L'Imperatrice by Dolce and Gabbana. And it's an eau de toilette and it's very affordable as well. So great compliment getter, L'Imperatrice 3 by Dolce and Gabbana. All right, so the next perfume on my list is Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. This one is actually pretty recent. It came out in 2018 or 2019. And it's a musk perfume. It literally smells like cashmere musk and a little bit of white flower. Kind of leans a bit unisex. I get a lot of compliments on that one, like a lot from both men and women. I think it's one of those that because it's kind of unisex and it has a kind of a natural scent to it, it smells like you're just really clean but people can tell it's a perfume, you know? It just smells like a really clean perfume. Even though it's musk and it's clean, it has a sexy undertone to it because of the musk. It smells very kind of like natural scent, natural skin. So it works great during colder month. Get, got loads of compliments on this, one, on this one, like a lot. And it was actually a bit surprising just because it's a very simple, perfume like a lot of the Narciso Rodriguez. I think the musk is very modern and not overwhelming. Yeah, it just makes it a very good crown pleaser. So yeah, Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez. All right, the next perfume on my list, I talked about it in my top 10 sexiest perfume video, and it is Eros by Versace. Basically, it's a pomegranate lemon jasmine perfume. It's a great casual perfume. I usually spray that one when I go hiking, when I just have to go to the grocery store and I want to smell good. And I get tons and tons of compliments on it. Like, so many compliments on it, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I mostly get compliments on it from men. I've actually never received a compliment on that one from a woman. It smells very sexy, very alluring. If you're looking for something that's a bit citrusy, and that's perfect for summer, that's very refreshing, but with a little twist, Definitely Eros by Versace. First time I spread that one, one of my friends was like, you smell very like juicy. Yeah, it smells very juicy and like, it's a head turner. There's something about it to me that smells very, very nice on a woman. So it smells exactly like you at the beach. It's really breezy, you know, and then you get a nice drink out of one of those stands on the side of the beach. That's how it smells like to me. There's something about it that's like very refreshing a bit bossy, and then there's the fruity note that kind of comes out. Also, this one, to me, has a bit of an athletic vibe. I don't know how to explain, but there's something about it that's a bit athletic. I imagine in Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, I think, I imagine Lake Lively to be wearing that. That's kind of how it smells. It has an athletic, kind of easygoing, bubbly vibe, but still, like, she looks good, you know? So yeah, Eros pour Femme by Versace. All right, so my next perfume is a perfume that some of you guys probably already know about, and it is Delina by Parfum de Mali. Now, this is a rhubarb, peonies, and rose perfume. It smells amazing. The first time I actually got this perfume and I spread it and I went to work, one of my coworkers was like, oh my God, you smell amazing. It kind of makes like a cloud around you. It smells so dreamy. People just really love it. There's something about it that's very feminine. Uh, it creates this really nice feminine cloud around you. It smells like the natural skin of a really clean and feminine woman during the summer. Like she's feminine. She's wearing like a really light pink polka dress in the middle of the summer with flip flops. And her toes are like perfectly done. That's exactly how this smells like to me. 
It's just a beautiful scent. I get a lot of compliments on that one. I've actually had someone follow me and ask me what I was wearing. And one time I wore it before seeing a friend and she became obsessed with it. It's one of those perfumes that just, it's like a masterpiece. It's Delina by Parfum de Marly. Okay, my next perfume is the perfume I got the most compliments on ever. I've gotten compliments on it at the airport, at the store, uh, while traveling. Like in other countries, I've just received so many compliments on that perfume, especially when it first came out, because now it's more popular. But when it first came out, I was receiving, I mean, like six compliments a day. That's how crazy it was. So the perfume that I'm talking about is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. Now, I talked about this perfume in my other video because I did say that was my signature perfume. I wore it a lot. This is maybe my, I want to say, ninth bottle. Basically, a tuberose, cacao, and tonka bean perfume. It's better suited for the evening. It's really heavy. It has a dark kind of like side to it. There's a lot of notes in that perfume, so it's quite heavy. But basically, you get the flower side, and then there's kind of a dark side with the tonka bean and the cacao, a bit of ember as well, and a bit of patchouli. It smells really nice it's at work. I've been around people that were like, oh my God, you smell amazing. I don't know what you're wearing, but it smells so good. One time I went to the airport, I was going to see some, uh, some family members, two attendants actually, when you check in your baggages at the check-in, two employees were like, oh my God, you smell so good. Like, you smell really good. I was wearing that. At work, I had, I don't know, in total guys, maybe 50 times, maybe more. Since I've been wearing this perfume, people compliment me on it. That's how, how much it works for me, like at least on my skin. Actually, it's like ridiculous, like the amount of compliments I get with this one. So even when sometimes I've kind of, I'm starting to grow out of it, I still, I'm drawn back to it just because I know it's something that kind of works on my skin. I can never go wrong with it, you know? I've gone to the store and I've had like a lady come around and be like, oh my God, what are you wearing? It smells amazing. I think this perfume is one of those where it's actually not the scent on your skin that gets you compliments. Kind of like Delina, I think it's the trail that it leaves because it leaves a really, really nice trail. A trail that's a mix of like tuberose, the cacao, and the tonka bean. It's that trail that it leaves that I think really hooks people in and makes you get compliments. Not really how it smells on your skin, especially during the winter. It just, it has an amazing trail, I think, more than anything. So yeah. All right guys, so that's it for my video. Those are my top five perfumes that get me the most compliments by both men and women. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys know other perfumes that got you a lot of compliments, please share it in the down bar below and I'll see you guys in my next video.